and welcome back to my channel. My name is Miranda if you're new here and if you're not new here, thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to subscribe to me and make videos every week or try my best to. This week I'm going to show you how to make a one-piece bathing suit, so if you're interested in this, then go ahead and keep on watching. Here are the materials you're going to be using for this project. Keep in mind that I'm using a one-piece bathing suit, but feel free to use a two-piece and just connect them. Now laying out your bathing suit, you're going to go ahead and trace around it. I'm lucky enough to have this tracing wheel that has seam allowance put in, but if you don't, then trace around and add your seam allowance. Then you cut it out, fold it in half to make sure that it's all even. And here is my back pattern piece. Now you're going to do the same thing to the front and trace out the front piece. This time I'm doing it a little bit different and I'm showing you that I'm just tracing out half of it and then I'm going to fold it in half in a second instead of doing it after. I'm also measuring up the length that I wanted. I did about two and a half inches up from the armpit. And this is my front piece. Here's where I just fold it over to make sure that I cut it out even. Now you want to put them both together to make sure that they're the same length on the sides. So as you can see, mine's a little bit different, so I'm marking it and I'm going to cut it off to make it even. Now you have your front piece and your back piece. So I cut that out in my stretchy fabric. I'm also cutting out a long rectangle that's double the length of around the arm and chest measurement. And it's six inches wide. And elastic that fits around the arm and chest. And two pieces that are two inches wide by however long you need your strap to be. Mine's 10 inches and as well as elastic for that. Now I'm putting my pieces right sides together and sewing down the sides. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch and then serge it. Then take your elastic that fits around your legs and put it on the wrong side of the fabric and you're going to zigzag it all the way around the leg holes on both sides. Now that that's done, you're going to go ahead and fold it over and zigzag one more time on top of it to hem the edges. Now you're going to sew the bottom crotch together, still right sides touching. Taking your long piece again, you're going to hem the top and the bottom. I'm using a zigzag stitch for this also. Once that's finished, you're going to put it right sides together and sew down this seam right here. Now I'm going to quarter it off, finding the front and the back and the two sides with a pin. And find the center point in the front and pin that as well. And then just start pinning the front to the front. And this is wrong side touching right side. And do the same thing for the back. Find the center, pin it, and then pin your back. Then you just zigzag stitch that down. Once that's done, you take your elastic that fits around the arm and the chest, put it together and sew it together. And we're gonna quarter that as well, finding the two fronts and the two sides. This is so that we sew in our elastic evenly. So I just start pinning it right to the top. Mm -hmm. 
matching up the front and the back and the two sides. Once this is pinned, you're gonna zigzag stitch all the way around, making sure that you pull that elastic as you go. Once that's done, you just fold it over and you're gonna zigzag on top one more time. Now it's time to work on your straps. So we're gonna zigzag stitch this elastic straight down to this fabric on the wrong side. And then you're gonna fold it over and then again and zigzag stitch on top of that. Find the points of where you wanna put straps at, pin it down and sew them down on the two fronts and the two backs. And your bathing suit is done. Hello everybody, I'm Riley. My mommy makes me a new um, baby suit. Yep. You like it? Mm hmm. So, I'm doing the entire floor. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like me and my channel, then please subscribe. I'd love to have you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.